last word is a weapon for the financially and physically disabled shonen fan with a gun fetish. No longer do you need to struggle with silly concepts like aiming when your bullets have been empowered by an all-encompassing if-then statement. If target is within peripheral vision, then kill. In today's episode, I'll be taking a deep dive into Southern American and Western Canadian culture as I retell the tale of Brokeback Mountain with less homoerotic play and more violence. Because we'll be following Shin Malfer as he breaks the fundamental laws of becoming a light bearer in order to enact his revenge against Itachi Uchiha on that perk 30. Grab your hats, beat your wife, and hit that yoinky splinky. It's time to review the last word. Do the tap. Oh, you motherfuck. Before we get started, let me just get into something a bit more suitable. You have no idea how many times I had to do the dungeon just for the fucking hat. Welcome to the lore section of the video, where I stare at the wiki article until my ideas manifest into incomprehensible horrors. As someone who has a literacy rate of a baboon, you need to understand that my summaries are not 100% accurate. I'm just here to lie to you and attack all five senses at once. Do you smell that? You're having a seizure. As a child, Shin's parents were killed by dregs. And yet here we are, letting them into the last city. They're bringing ether. They're bringing crime. Some I assume are good people. Shin would be raised by his adoptive father, who is unnamed, so we'll use this picture of a guy I assume is a loving and sincere father figure to his children. Shinithi lived in the hidden leaf village because the last city was too far away. One day, a man came to the village, but not just any man. This man was a controller gamer. Hey, what's up, protagonist? I'm your will to live. Okay. My only purpose is to show you this really cool gun that does a flip every time I pull it out. That is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. So, uh, in order to progress this story, I'm gonna have to kill your leader. Logan Paul. Makes sense? Oh! And just like that, I'm now Hokage according to the laws of regicide. Fantastic, you've now traumatized me into believing that you're a hero. Jaren Ward successfully gaslit, gatekept, and girlbossed the village of Palamon into a state of peace. But then the Fire Nation attacked. Another guardian came to visit the village. Wait, you may recognize him from the popular hit series, A Short and Sweet Summary, produced and filmed by the talented Akihiko Nix. And if you haven't heard of it, well, that's okay. But just to let you know, I, uh, have your home address, and I just so happen to have this package oddly shaped like a bomb. One day, while Jaren was out performing an ethnic cleansing on the local fallen population, Yor decided to add to the American gun violence statistic. But when he got to Shin, he stopped. Hello, and so he left Shin alive, thus starting the Stardust Crusaders arc of this story. Shin, Jaren, and some additional background characters that just end up dying at some point were on the hunt for Dio Brando, but sadly they lost track of him.
And then they found him again. Jaren, knowing that he isn't the main character, decided to fight Yor alone in order to create a better backstory for Shin. You can stop me. Of course I can. I have over 5 million power. <laughs> Hello everyone, Generic Destiny 2 YouTuber here to tell you You have to do this today or you'll miss I'm it I'm surprised no one knew about this is This is the last time you'll ever be able to do this Don't miss this Am I being vague enough? Click this video and you'll receive 10,000 V-Bucks Today, I'll be explaining how to become a light bear And the first step to becoming a light bear is to die <laughs> Once you're dead, a ghost scans your Twitter post history to determine if you're worthy of being revived. Take him to Detroit. Yeah! If you are found worthy, then you're resurrected and lose all of your memories in order to create a symbiotic bond with Space Mecha. By communing with God, you also gain the ability to resurrect every time you die along with some other cool superpowers. And those are the basic fundamentals of becoming a light bearer. So anyways, when Jaren died, his ghost decided he wants to be with Shin instead and made him into a light bearer. After breaking the fundamental rules of the universe out of sheer rage, Shin resumed his search for your forger, and eventually he found him. Any last words? I uh, built this entire video on this one joke. Oh, fuck. Be should not to have let to him cock, but I see you have to distract to him, so stay close him. Okay. Ligma. What? Ligma. POV, you just shot the local schizophrenic man. After Shin killed Yor and discovered his real identity, he wondered how such a great man could become so evil. In order to understand Yor, Shin decided to follow the same footsteps as him and even crafted his own thorn. But Shin's thorn was set to Wumbo, making it safe to use on other guardians. After some time, a cult called the Shadows of Yor began using these replicas of thorn in the Crucible. When Shin brought this issue to the Vanguard, they did absolutely nothing. I see the UN still hasn't changed all these years. So now you're probably wondering, how did the Shadows of viewer come to be, who started all this, and how do I save 15% on my car insurance? Well, the CEO and founder of the Soy Boys was none other than Shin himself. The purpose of the cult was actually to find guardians willing to succumb to the darkness, and then kill them. I'm sure there's some profound moral to Shin's story, like he became the one thing that he hated, or respect the grind. But no one really cares about that, so let's get to the important part of this video. Welcome back to Gun Review. If you're wondering why this video took so long, it's because I was busy playing the fucking hat gacha. Bro, I got the fucking boots again. Last word is great for people that struggle with basic hand-eye coordination and anyone thinking of becoming an unlicensed health practitioner. This weapon is the epitome of the phrase close enough. Last word's exotic perk is fanfire. This allows you to hip fire your gun in order to increase your precision damage and accuracy. There's also a secret secondary perk only accessible through the use of this box. And this mechanism. I thought it'd be a great idea to test out this perk so that you, the viewer, can truly understand the capabilities of this weapon. Okay, so here I am. I'm Alright, so my uh my movements are a bit stiff at the moment. Okay, I just figured out. Hey guys, I'm just gonna go commit some domestic abuse real quick. I rate this an 8 out of post Orochimaru Sasuke. Pretty fun if you're a hunter. As a recovering League of Legends veteran, I am constantly on the verge of saying racial slurs. But after receiving the last word, I was able to channel my racism into destiny. In this game, it's socially acceptable to racially profile anyone and anything. With last word, you can vicariously live the life of a police officer whose body cam mysteriously shut off after entering the fallen ghettos. I swear, Zavala, he had a gun. On the satisfaction side, I rate this a 1791 out of the Second Amendment. Howdy, gamers. As always, thanks for watching and remember to comment your favorite piece of Destiny lore. I'll see you whenever the next video is done.